Shit, hold on, I should probably close my that window. Hold on. Hold on, I'll be right back. With no momento. Cherry stream. What the fuck? <laughs> this wig looks so weird on me. This is like the quintessential Karen outfit. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. detective I need I need like a magnifier glass to make this outfit really like pop you know what I mean I like how you can even see like the reflection of like, my monitor screen in these glasses. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't like watch anything inappropriate while I'm on stream because you'd be able to see it. Hello, King Butt. <laughs> What's going on? Hello, Jenka Forever. This is like Jinkies, Jinkies, Scooby. Where's Ash? What's going on here? Jinkies. What's a good Velma quote? Yeah, I'm doing an early stream because I'm gonna go to my dad's house later today to eat fajitas, and I'll probably stream tomorrow because of it, but. Well, hold on, hold on. My glasses! I can't see without my glasses! Ah! I can't even, like, see my eyes because they're reflection. It's, it's like... Apparently, in Multiverse, Velma had a move that they removed that would have call, have her call the police on the other player, lol. I was hoping there was, uh, you were on your way to pick up a little black car truck. 
Oh, that thing? <laughs> I wish, dude. I don't I don't know about that yet. I have to I have to figure that one out. So impersonating a lesbian? Is Velma a lesbian? I don't think Velma's a lesbian, is she? I guess you can do the thing where you get on all fours and search for them. <laughs> Duh. I don't think she's canonically a lesbian. Let me look this up. Is Velma a le lesbian? from IGN. Alright, it was confirmed, I guess, yeah. Huh. She also gets with Shaggy. I I believe it. I believe she gets with Shaggy. Hundred percent. What's What's Finster doing? He's streaming. Ah, oh, his outfit's way more boring. His outfit's way more boring than mine. Tish. He's not dressed up as a lesbian. Typical. She is canon from Mystery Incorporated. I think, I, I think, like, Velma Proto Femboy. <laughs> the wig doesn't suit you? I know it doesn't. It doesn't at all. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> it's like, this is the quintessential Karen haircut. And it's like, I look, I definitely look like I'm from the 60s. Like, this, this outfit, 100% 60s. Right? I definitely look the part. Also, I here, let me stand up so you can see, like, the whole, like, outfit, right? <laughs> but, like... <laughs> sure, yeah. Th th this is definitely, like, a 60s outfit. But th this haircut, I feel like once you turn 40 as a female, you just immediately get this haircut. Turn like looks good. Oh, thank you. I could, I have the other, I have the other wigs. I could swap it out for the other wigs, but I don't know what that would look like. I I feel like looks cute on you though, but everything does. I don't think you Trey Lacey. I, I I don't. I was wearing this. I'm just like I I I don't think I dig this wig. I don't think this wig is it. I don't think this is it, man. I don't think this wig is it. <laughs> yeah, it just, it's like... I don't know, man. It just looks weird. Take off the glasses for a second. I want to see without glasses. I can't see jinkies. I can't see. George Harrison. I don't think it's the specific wig that's the problem. I think it's the, um, I think it it's the style. <laughs> I think this, I think Velma's hair just doesn't doesn't work with m my facial features as much. <laughs> Jinkies! I can't see without my estrogen. <laughs> I think it's a combo of the glass and the wig that that makes it look odd. 
You saying it looks better without the glasses? Got to take my anti-testosterone pills, you know what I mean? It just looks so different. It does. It looks so goddamn different. It fits me better without the glasses. But I can't see without the glasses. Jinkies. <laughs> God damn it. I'm keeping the glasses on. So long as I'm going for the Velma outfit, I gotta have the glasses. I think it looks better with the glasses. You are cuter without the glasses. <laughs> I, I do have other wigs. I could go put on another wig and see what that feels like, but. Because this, goddammit, this is like Karen haircut. Are you liking the fake shorter hair? <coughs> um, no. Thank you. Now, I, I, this specific haircut, I, I'm not digging this haircut. I'm not digging this haircut at all. Thank you. It's weird now. I think, do you always wear glasses and take them off and it just looks off? It's weird. Now, I think you do always wear glasses and you take them off and it looks just off. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I just wear glasses from now on. <laughs> These fake glasses. Let's see the wig options. Well, you got the... You got the blue wig, you got the purple wig, and then you got the pink wig. Those are your options. I should get, like, a blonde wig, you know? Need a redhead wig? <laughs> yes. What's your HR buff and stuff? Do you know what this is? Because I sure as shit don't. <laughs> It says it's got some sort of gas in it, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. Is there a part number? It is a GL868. Didn't Velma have light brown or reddish hair? Apparently not, because the wig is brown. <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot of tubes yesterday. That box came yesterday, and holy shit, are there so many tubes in there. Like, look at how many 6L6 tubes I got. Look at, these are all 6L6s. How many did I get? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven of these fucking things. I also got a couple five fours. I got some cool, interesting mercury tubes. I got like this, like look at this thing here. I think this is a power tube. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it's mercury as you can see. I also got like, I got this thing, which is pretty cool. It is a G27. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I also got like these little acorn fucking tubes, which are cool as shit. Got some 12A7s as well. It's fucking. It was a good haul yesterday, man. It took me forever to sort them. Like that part that turns the light for a night light. 
only for some kind of high tech 50s era device. It's a 27 tube. Ooh. That's kind of cool, actually. So it detects light, is what you're saying. Interesting. I wonder how that works. Was that packed without any padding? No, I just. It was. It was. It's just that I've, like, kind of reorganized it a little bit. That's fucking cool. I mean, I wonder what I could use that for. Interesting. Okay. And then I also got, like, this weird ass. I got one of these. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know why it's rattling so much. Oh, this one might be a gas bulb tube as well. I'm not sure. It's got like stuff in it. I'm not sure if it's broken or what. Anyway. I got like, I got these things, which are fucking weird looking. I got like, I I got this. I have no idea what the fuck this is. It says it's a reflex clitron or something like that. I have no idea. I got some of these bad boys. Dude, the fucking, I got so many cool looking tubes now. I have no idea. Hey, when did you join the Starfleet? I think gold is an officer, right? What? <laughs> So, 227 equals 27. Ooh. Dolo tube. A reflex citron? So we can see how scuffed the weight cap is? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a real page boy haircut, though? I don't know, maybe. What? There's so, there's so many cool too. What what is a, a a reflex clitron? Clitron. I have I don't even know how to say that. Jinkies. Is that Velma? It's a new one by me. It's here. Let me grab it. If I can find it somewhere around here, or did I put it up here? I'll leave it up here. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's it's like look at this fucking thing. It looks like an oil rig. It says seven twenty six C. 1680 Western Electric Govan Govt I mean like what the fuck I'm more of a Daphne God damn it Narutaki Kun what the fuck I'm this thick though <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I saw that it got here yesterday. I, I didn't, I haven't gotten up there to go pick it up yet. Reflex Clistron. Clistron, yes, that. What, what is that? Microwave transmissions? A uh, reflex clitoris is a specialized low-power vacuum to be used to produce oscillations at a microwave frequency. Its principle of operation is velocity and current modulation. Hold on one second. Okay. 
Interesting. Huh. Yes, this is Velma. <laughs> I should have said that. <laughs> that would have been fucking funny. Hello, this is Velma. I wonder what even socket this would go to. Because I don't have anything that would fit this. I wonder what this went to. I don't think I could find it on Radio Museum. I'm thinking anyway. Let me let me try. Radio Museum. Um. Seven twenty six C. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh. Too sexy for Velma. Does it say what it was in? Where can I see what this was used in? Oh yeah, she definitely did it better. Oh yeah, she definitely did it better. God damn it, now I feel like shit. <laughs> God damn it. I hope we find Shaggy soon. Because you're not thick. Oh, thank you. How did she get her glasses back? What the fuck? What is this show, dude? It skipped ahead. But to see. You do look like I'm no cap. That really does look like Astra on her knees. I don't think I've ever been on my knees in in on camera, so I don't th I don't know how that works. <sighs> Shh. 
should I, should I, um, <laughs> should, hello, serious TV. Uh, should I, um, should I change my wig to see what it looks like? You put the pink one on? Okay. Alright, I'll be right back. Change wig. It's been decided we're changing the wig. Alright. This 100% does not look better. 100% it doesn't. This does not look better. You'd be a great diva or tracer though, maybe. I should get a diva cosplay. Diva's definitely the sexiest, so I'm not complaining about that. My hair is just better. <laughs> Looks like the wear wig or er, Brit wears. What 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 do we think? Pink or uh pink or brown better? Is Valma or pink one better? <laughs> what what are we thinking? Oh, so this is the mustard and ketchup outfit. <laughs> I just realized this is definitely the mustard and ketchup outfit. Both, really. Get a scissors and cut your real hair. How about you go fuck yourself? Move glasses. Eh. It's like the hair is getting into my eyes. Thinking. Yes or no on this one? Should I go get the other wig? Should I go get the blue wig? I can send you more wigs. That's true. Yeah. Dude, without the wig, there's no cosplay. You look like you dress like a sixty-year-old librarian. <laughs> no, no blue wig. How about the the purple wig? I got a purple wig and a blue wig left. I, I feel like I should just go put them on just because I can. You know what I mean? <laughs> I might just put them on just, just because I can put them on, you know? God, this keeps getting in my eyes. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Give me a sec. Ah, shit.
Okay, never mind. I hate it right. That looks awful. <laughs> How about that? How about this wig? Does this wig look better? What did you guys do to her? God damn it, Amoya. God damn it. You fucking asshole. I, I brushed it and it, it's so painful to brush. Genuinely is. No, no more glasses. Jinxies. I've got both of you going into my ear holes. What? Oh, you'll, you'll dual modding Finn stream. <laughs> See, Finn, Finn. God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. This, my natural hair is a lot better. Yeah, I, th I think it is. This is why I don't dye my hair. Because then I'd have to deal with that, like, permanently. Do you finally get a uh, better Twitch TV? Not yet. So Finn is okay? Finn is, Finn's alright. Finn's alright. He's alright. My hair does not look good today, though. I gotta, like... He still has to get some diagnostic done. Is he alright? You can't dye it back to your natural color. It doesn't look as good. Gotta brush every day. I know I do. But just like, listen. Okay, it's... I just brushed it. It's... I don't think you understand how painful it is to brush long hair like this.
There you go. He's okay stable, he just can't sit back and act like nothing's happened. He's got to get tested and stuff. Oh, yeah. The fuck are you doing, cat? Vegan diet finally catch up to him. I don't think he's vegan. He's just vegetarian, right? I didn't think he was vegan. Yeah, 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 he's vegetarian. So like, I could have sworn I, I heard him talk about this. And he's like, I'm not, I don't eat meat. I don't not eat meat just because, like, I, I care about the animals. I don't eat meat just because I don't like it. That's what his, his take was, I think, on it. I don't remember. Yeah, I hope he's alright, though. It must be pretty scary, so... What happened to Finn? He has a gallbladder issue. What the fuck is this? Come here. And then Robin just comes in there. Is this the most unhinged show ever? What the fuck did I just watch? A cute... Something, something. Deaf marriage material for Finn. Absolutely. <laughs> Why don't I have any Dr. Sims, goddammit? <laughs> I've never seen 60s Batman before. Nope. That was that was that was it. That was my first experience with 60s Batman. Just dropped moving onto a box of tubes. No, she kind of launches herself at boxes of tubes, there's a difference. I didn't drop her on it, she just kinda of jumps on him.
What about Leandro? Yeah, I don't know about Leandro, man. Maybe. I mean, look how cool this tube is. Look how cool this shit is. Look how nice this is. I gotta go see if there's more tubes. I gotta I gotta browse Craigslist. Hold on. Not cars.com, we're, we're Craigslist. And he bought a 7K computer in a carrying case so he can travel maybe to C10. Uh, a 7K computer? Wow. He was an even crazier 60 shows. Rubber dubber baby dumpers, bumper dumper baby jumpers, bumper dumper lumper jumpers. I can't say it three times fast. Okay, that proves it. You're Clarence the Clumsy Code Courier. You're absolutely correct. And now here is the new eight code. Thanks. Get it to eight at once. I can't, Clarence. They're closed for the weekend. See there. How about hiding the code book in Lance Link's apartment? Huh? Huh? That's a good idea, Clarence. Chump will never think of looking for it there. I'll... How do they train those monkeys to do that? That's just... That's sad. <laughs> yeah, we've seen this on stream before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. Maybe LSD. <laughs> All right, antiques for sale. That's kind of cool, actually. Esther needs a 60s flower child outfit and a go-go dancer one. That'd be kind of cool. Because, like, I want to... I, I want to pretend like I'm on Austin Powers. That's what I want to do. has been on here for so long. Interesting, okay. Let's see what they have for cars. What new cars have they added? Yeah, we never got this Chica dance. I'm working on it, alright? Give me a break. Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. That is pretty cool. I'm working on it. I don't really like those rims. How many miles does it have? 52,000? That's not bad. Savage. Okay, this is cool. Truth it goes unspoken. <laughs> I did not I didn't say when I'd get the fucking video to you guys, alright? I just said I would do it and I will do it. 
Alright? I never said I wouldn't. I just haven't done it yet. More cars. What's wrong with this? Ew. That looks ugly. How many cars do you have? I have two right now, technically, but I've got to get rid of one because one is just broken and not really in functioning condition. So the other one is my RX-7, which does work, but is not. I can't drive it in the winter, so I'm kind of screwed. There's a lot of 2009 Dodge RTs. That, that would not be bad. That's like, I think, you know, if I could get one of those, that would be fucking sick. FD or FC? FB. It's an FB. Uh, 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 there's a couple of them on here, too. But it's it's a silver FB. There's one on it here. You could probably look it up. Uh, right, if I go here and go RX7... There was a couple on here. It looks a lot like this one. Except it has a better interior. It, 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 it looks a lot like this. It's silver like this one too. But um, yeah, mine's cooler. <laughs> But, yeah, I, I love my car. Like, I'm not going to sell my RX-7. The RX-7 is my baby. That's my baby car. I, I, I love that thing to death. And I... What is my... What, what, what is your dream char, car chat? So that's what you're keeping? Yeah, I'm keeping that one. And I'm never getting rid of it. Because it's like my... It was my first car, and it's it's going to be my last, goddammit. But, um... I don't want to drive it in winter, because it's got not a lot of rust on it. So I'm not trying... It's got pretty much no rust on the underside of it, so I'm trying to keep it as rust-free as possible. And if I drive it in the winter, it will evaporate. What what what, what is this video, and why is it so low quality? Why did you send me that? That is so weird. <laughs> My crypto's down. Do this with a little black car truck. No coiner. Trust. This will move. That's 472 horsepower and 395 pound feet of torque. Well, what's up with this team sheet? Inverted fullback and a false nine? The limited slip diff lets you hammer the throttle. You don't get it until you go all in. Poggers. Stick it in the onion bag. The Lexus. I, I hate that so much. That really, really, that and the fact that it doesn't have cup holders is keeping me from that Lexus. I swear to God. It's just so bad. It's like. It's so fucking bad. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I like I try to find a new car, but I don't want to spend that much money, and I, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> like, ideally, where, where did that one I go? I had this is like perfect, right? This is like the perfect car for me. I don't know why it's so cheap. Uh, it's got, you know, kind of high miles, but I don't care about that. I mean, this is a great car, but it's also probably in Chicago. Oh, it's in Omaha. That's not that bad. So, like, I could go for this, right? But, like, you know, it's $11,000. My friend just brought one of those. This one's eleven, eleven nine. Which is probably, it's just a really good price for this, honestly. I might look into this one. 
This one's like 22, right? And it's older, but it's got less miles. I don't know why this one's 22, though. Maybe it's because it's an STI Limited. I don't really care. Oh, this one is older. Oh. This one looks better, though. I like this one. Anyway, um... Like... Watch for head gasket problems with Subarus. Why would you fucking send that to me on stream? God damn it. Why, why would you send that to me? Jizzy, what the fuck? Why would you- why would you send that to me? F why? <laughs> anyway, the point is... <laughs> you know, I- I can do a head gasket on them, right? That's not too much big of a deal. It's just like, I don't mind doing a head gasket job. It's just that, you know... Ooh, a Roadrunner. Ooh, I really want one of those. Fuck yeah. Because Japan. That one's pretty nice too, but it's like I don't really want to spend twenty grand on a on a car. You know what I mean? This is really nice. Apparently the car market is overpriced right now and should come down within a couple months. I don't have a couple months. That's the problem. I don't think it will come down in a couple months, to be honest with you. I, I feel like it won't. It's been high, and I think it's going to stay high for a little bit longer. Ooh, Dodge Viper. That's fucking cool. I think it's going to stay high for a while, honestly. Okay, that's kind of cool. So the Lexus wins? No, no. You, you want me to get that Lexus so goddamn bad? I do not want that Lexus. It doesn't have cup holders. Did you not see that commercial? Do you not see that cringe ass commercial? What about the Lexus you posted on Discord? I don't really like, I don't like Lexuses. I don't like Toyotas in general, if I'm being honest with you. I don't really like Toyotas. Like. It, it's just a Barbie wrap. It, it didn't be perfect, right? <laughs> Toyota hater. I, I guess, I mean, I don't like hate, hate Toyotas. I just prefer them prefer to not have them. I like them better than I like Hondas, so there you go. I hate Hondas, I will say that. I really don't like Hondas. But Toyotas are more boring than Hondas, which is impressive. Oh my god. <laughs> Bussy. Now this is actually a car that I wouldn't mind having. A BRZ, one of these things. These are cool. These are like the rear-wheel drive versions of the WRX. I really like these things, actually. And I'd rather have this than a WRX, to be honest with you. The ultimate Femboy car. But this is uh, this is awesome right here. Yeah, it might be my best option. I, I've been looking at used car dealerships, but, you know, a lot of what they have is, you know, a lot of the thing. The, the problem is... Oh god, he wants 10 for this, and it's got like, it's like not even there. What the fuck? It's way overpriced. This is something that I, I would consider right here. This is not bad. I like this. But it's, it's like, you know. Like the sign, um, what is it? What, what, what was it? Um, here's a BRZ. Um, what's the Scion version of that? I, I forget what the Scion version of that, the BRZ is. But they have, like, a Scion. Scion has their version of it, which is the same thing, just with a different badge on it. 
I don't remember what it was. Let me look up Scion, see if I can find it. Um, here it is. Scion FRS. Something like this. I wouldn't mind one of these at all. Like, this would be really good. But the problem is, you know, it's like, what? Fucking $1,600, right? It's expensive, bro. This isn't bad. Look up new ones. The new Scions? I can't afford the new ones. Can I get uh, you to post a link for me? I would like Astra. Astra's an ungrateful tyrant. I wa I saw it on. Di I saw what you sent me on on Discord. Okay, I don't want to watch it right now. <laughs> they look like what the um the FRS. They look cool from the rear. I like the way they, they look from the rear. Perfect car for Astra. <laughs> yes. What the fuck is this? What is this bullshit? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Oh, the list of cars in Jay Leno's collection? I've already seen that, though. I don't really care about Jay Leno or, or the cars he has, to be honest with you. I really don't. <laughs> now, this is ugly as shit. Right? Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> it's so bad. I can't even... I can't even look at that. That's so fucking bad. See, I like these cars, right? They're kind of like a modern... They have, you know, rear-wheel drive, fucking... They're pretty cool. If I were to spend $20,000 on a car, it'd probably be for one of these, if I'm being honest with you. But, you know, it's it's like... I don't know. Comes with a dildo. Hello, last round. Ford RS2000. He's a worthy ride. How's it going, guys? My name is Tavares, and today is gonna be. Oh, I've seen this. And let's. And good in short. That really is. That is a vibe right there. <laughs> Alright. So this is like the perfect car, honestly. This really is right here. Pit my ride van. The, uh, if I could, sp how much would? How how much would fucking this cost a month? Let me go here. Let me let me go to car loan calculator. It would be monthly pay three hundred and sixteen dollars a month. So I'd probably end up paying four hundred dollars a month for that, right? After like I pay for insurance and shit. Do I, do I really want to pay three hundred dollars a month for a car? I'm so gay. <laughs> uh. You go out here on your car so you don't have payments? Yeah, but that works until your car breaks down. <laughs> and it costs too much to fix it. Especially when you already own one. The, the, the problem is, it's like, I can't... Just because I already have an R7, like, I can't drive that in the winter. I, I, I refuse. 
The problem with old Japanese cars is they just, they weren't built to handle salt at all. They just weren't. And so they, they just get eviscerated by fucking rust in the winter. And I can't, I can't put my car through that. I just can't, you know what I mean? And so now I have, like, this issue. It doesn't snow in Florida. I know it doesn't. If I, w literally, if I was in Florida, I wouldn't be looking for a new car right now. You weren't built to handle salt either. <laughs> like, if I was, if I lived in Florida, I would not be looking for a new car. But I'm probably not going to be able to move before they put salt on the roads. And that's the main issue here. It's like, I, I want to move to Florida, but it's probably not going to happen before December. And it they start salting the roads in late November. Maybe mid to late November. Made the last payment on my shitty car. Oh, nice. You know, there is salt in the moist air every day, not just in the winter. Don't think they have... Don't think they have no rust. Yeah, but that's not, like, Iowa rust. You know what I mean? It's not in the rust belt. Like, just by moving to Florida and driving it in Florida, it's not gonna rust by just being in Florida. The thing... they it Driving in Iowa destroys cars. Because it, the, when they salt the roads, it just is so hard on cars. Florida is a definite, uh, not necessarily. But I would like to move to Florida. Everything rests in the rust belt. Yeah, that's why it's called the rust belt. We literally use rocks. Well, and Alaska, everybody has a car that can handle the snow. You know what I mean? What about bad vibes? Well, I mean, it depends on where he's moving. If he moves to Atlanta, you know, I'm not, I'm not moving to Atlanta. So, the road salt is just produces problems. How do y'all? What's going on? Not so much. I'm looking for cars as usual because I'm fucking don't have a car. Or, I mean, I do, but it's janky. <laughs> Are you sure you're a bottom? <laughs> what do you mean? What did I do that had top energy? Maybe I'm not a bottom. You don't know. In Alaska, everyone has the same car as the rest of the country. We just winterize so we don't cold, so the cold doesn't kill the batteries. It's not that as the problem; it's the snow, and ice. I mean, no one's gonna deny driving a Ford Ranger, a rear-wheel drive Ford Ranger in the winter sucks. Like that's difficult to do. In Iowa, we get really brutal winters in Iowa. Like, I'll have to take video of it when it comes around. But January in Iowa can get pretty brutal. I mean, there are other places in the country that get, gets worse, right? But you wouldn't expect Iowa to be as bad as it is. Such a bossy bottom. <laughs> like... In Iowa, it's not uncommon for the weather to get to the negative 30 in certain areas of the, the state. It sure gets off so much bottom energy that people become tops by being around her. Rude. It snowed in my city once the whole 12 years I've lived here. I can't imagine dri what it's like driving in that stuff. Yeah, let me look at a, at a, a Iowa winter. What? 
Why is interest so gonna end long? It's a good sign. What is this music? The fuck is this music? I've done that before. I mean, it's just like... Here, let me... To say the least, Rat Nino winner, which can explain CRT. some of those extreme days with Miss Iowa. Alice says you cannot judge by one way. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This happens every fucking year. Four inches max, that's pushy shit. Yeah, we get, uh, we get, we usually get, like, what, what, what does that say? Eight, five to eight inches? I mean, I don't know, we get pretty good amount of inches. Like this, this is common in Iowa winters. This scene right here, where it's just blizzard blizzarding. You have winter. I'm glad I don't live there. I mean, it, I, yeah, I wish I didn't, but like, it's so brutal. <laughs> And this actually isn't that bad, because you don't have a, that much snow on the road. But, like, sometimes, like, it will be so fucking bad that the whole state will kind of just shut down for a day, because there is no way you can drive without, like, spinning out. Looks like, look up Indiana winter. Listen, Indiana winter isn't as bad as Iowa winter. It's not, like, geographically possible. You, you always try to one-up me with your Indiana bullshit. Get the fuck out of here, Indiana. You can afford and might want. Ooh. Let, me, let me look at what, what is the said item? Oh, what are these fucking things? I don't want to fucking... 2000s laptop 95 Why would I want this? <laughs> $200 for that? No, thank you. It's not it doesn't have a CRT in it, man. I can't 2000s laptop runs in Windows 95. Portable weapon. Well, I'll send you a crate full. Do you have them, Trarizin? Do you just have these fucking laptops sitting around? I I do like old tech, but this isn't like old old tech. I usually like 1950s old tech, like vacuum tubes, analog shit, or or anything that has a. Uh, a CRT. Ow, I just poked myself. Long stream tonight? No, probably not, because I gotta leave in an hour. So we're gonna go for another hour, and then I gotta go. 
I mean, it is kind of cool. But, like, if I had one, I wouldn't get rid of it. But, no. 40 me megabytes of RAM. Omegle tonight? No. I, I just, I had to go in an hour. You asked at every single stream, Amoongus, goddammit. Hello, Smurgen600. To IBM tubes. What the fuck is this? Now, this is pretty cool, actually. I wouldn't mind having this. That, 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 that is pretty cool. I, I don't know what it is exactly, but it's cool. What about, what, what, what about the other one? Are, they, are these just a bunch of uh, Total Egg 7s? That's not bad. 56, 59, 65. Which one is that? Is that the 12 AU7? I don't, I don't know which version of the tube that is. Uh, as a Steam Deck or something? Chair needs restraint for the armrests. Or you're having dinner with him? No, he's making fajitas at his house. If I had a hot, large house, I would totally have a room with wall just covered in old CRTs playing different, like, different types of static and old leather seats in front of it, so... Guess would walk in there and think they walked in some strange techno thriller. I would do that. The power glove for your Nintendo. Room looking like you watch here on a watch list oscilloscopes and shit. <laughs> I probably am. Hello, Yorkshire. I don't want a power glove. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? Boobs, do you know what the 50, 5965 tube is equivalent to? Is that is that a 12AX7 or a 12AU7? I, I don't know. It's Yorkshire. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yorkshire. Watching your streams at work lowers your temper. Oh, that's good. I'm glad I could be an anger management tool for you. That is pretty cool. I like that. What what what, what, what do you have for two blocks on eBay? Or actually, no. Let's, let's check uh, Goodwill. Uh oh. <laughs> don't worry, Terry. We usually don't find anything. I'm not even going to try to say that. girl into electronics <laughs> yeah i'm not just into electronics dude i fucking like obsessed with these fucking things i just got a box of tubes yesterday and i got tons of these fucking things i love it <laughs> it's 
Hey, you look at this tube. Look at it. Look at this tube. <laughs> Do you want to show us what you're looking at? No. This is all there is for tube? Okay, there's nothing. Nothing new here. Really impacted your numbers? I don't think so. I think it's just that it's earlier. This isn't when I usually stream. And so people aren't like... I don't know. That's kind of cool, actually. There are more of these things. Watch Finster when you can watch Astra. <laughs> Why watch Finster when you can watch Astra? I do feel like it probably affects my numbers a little bit, but I, I, don't, I don't really care. Fifty nine tubes are one point twenty five volt DC filaments. Are they really? That's kind of weird. Uh, huh. Well, thank you for restraining yourself for not making a mean joke at my expense. <laughs> You're the first person to actually have that realization. Portable circuits or something? Yeah, probably. I don't know what, what that'd be good for. I do have some, like, interesting tubes. I have this one, which is a, a... I'm pretty sure this is an RCA, but it's hard to tell because all of the writing for the brand has been rubbed off. Here's a GE 12AX7. about this one this one is a 12 a u7 and this one is a 7 a u7 which is interesting have to go on a dinner date but I'm glad I caught a part of this Jimmy looked great as Velma I'll oh, thank you Trey racing Who even knows? Oh, that, that, that link doesn't work. Nope, forbidden. I guess I, I'm, pro I'm probably my VPN. Yeah, my, my, Amoya is collecting mod status in every femboy's chat. Can't escape Amoya. She's everywhere. Sports Almanac 2000? Why? Why would I buy this? Why would I care about this? That's kind of cool. Use it to bet on sports stuff. But I don't like sports. <laughs> You're uncultured. I guess I'm uncultured then. I don't know. What, what do you want from me? What am I supposed to say? Like, ah, oh, yes, I want a sports almanac from 1950s to 2000 because I watch so much sports. Like, ooh. Is this one of those things that has the small, like, super small CRTs? Oh, man, that might be, like, the smallest CRT ever. Ooh, I might go for that. 
1981. I might go for that one. I might put in a bid on that one. All right. Let me let me put in a bid on that one. You've already been outbid. God damn it. How much did this guy bid on this fucking thing? All right, whatever. I'll, I'll look at that later. When cleaning up my granddad's place, my uncles wanted to throw a bu uh, away a big bunch of weird wooden boxes with metal things on top. I put them all in my car and took them to my dad's because I knew there was something. Turns out they were four multi battery ignition coils. That's the oldest electric tech I've got. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. The secret is that it has nothing to do with sports. How the fuck am I supposed to know that? I wasn't born between the years 1950 and 2000. I wasn't alive, dude. It's a reference to a certain movie. Oh, Back to the Future. Oh, I see. I get it now. I get it. You're you're trying to get me to watch Back to the Future again. I'll watch it one day. Don't you worry. I'll watch it. All right. Fucking Back to the Future. Fucking yeah. How many volts is this? Fifty volt. Twenty two. You have fifty volt. God damn it. I need a fucking. Hold on. Boobs, do you know a good website to buy capacitors from? I need that 10 uh, UF 450 volt capacitor. Have you not seen Back to the Future? I have not. Femboys and Ballad Songs, they have a more iconic duo. Femboys and AKs. That's a more iconic duo. <laughs> I usually buy my caps in bulk from China on eBay. I should do that. I need to find... Let me think here. 10 UF 450 volt capacitor. Guns too, yeah. Well, that's not what this is. This is like this is it right here. Should I just buy this? Is this it? Is this it? Is this it, boobs? This is it, right? Oh, it's 100 UF. No, I want 10 UF, goddammit. It says 10 UF here, then what the fuck? Why does it say 100 UF? Oh, it's because it uses the same goddamn image. Fuck. Alright, whatever. Classic Astra. Oh, yes. This. <laughs> Sorry. Aluminum electrolytic capacitors radio lead it leaded 450 volt 10 UF. Is this it? <laughs> the sucky part is you have to sometimes wait a month for them to arrive in the mail. They're cheaper this way, but the Chinese make most of them anyway. Well, what, what what lots do you get from China? Can you send me a link to a to a good thing on China or Chinese eBay listing that I could just get the the the, fu the fucking parts I need? Because I've been trying to find that capacitor just in the random bullshit I have lying around here, but I can't find it in, like, all of my, my, uh, bullshit, right? Like, I was even looking, like, um, in the old, uh, Alamo amp that I got the choke from, and, because this used a 5e4, right? It was right here, and it used that, and that came up to right here, and that went over here. Oh. It's because this is the capacitor.
this is the capacitor they used after it. <laughs> I don't think I want to use because it is 20, 20 UF 450 volt. Right? That is what this capacitor is. But do I really want to use a, a 50 year old capacitor? I thought that's what you said would work best there for that that um, that part that I was looking at. Like remember you said about ten UF four hundred and fifty volt. I guess it doesn't matter that much, but this is just what I'm trying to get right here, right? Is this, this this I have everything else, right? I just need this capacitor. I don't have this one. There you go. I guess I'll, I'll probably buy that then. I wonder if the 8.3 is a good tube for this, or if I should use a 5U4 instead. I want to use a Mercury tube. Well, is it the... Hold on. Because these tubes are so similar. What what are the what what is the data? Hold on, let me let me look at the data sheet for both of these, right? Eight three tube data sheet. Okay. And then go to five U four data sheet. This one has better cake and homegrown bobs, too. <laughs> I don't mess with capacitors. They give much zap. Yeah, they can if you're not careful. You always have to discharge your capacitors. 5 volts. M peak inverse voltage is 1,500. 550 volts. Uh, let's see. What What is this one? AC plate voltage per plate, 500 max, inverse peak, 1500, DC output, 250 continuous, uh, peak plate current is 800 max milliampere. Yeah, I mean, this is not, like, this is, like, the same tube, isn't it? Is an 8.3 just an older version of a 5U4? So, anyway, we looked at the data. <laughs> So we looked at the data, and and people aren't going to be running 27 because we're just going to kill them. We're just going to kill them. <laughs> I haven't seen the cake to know. Well, it's on my Discord, so if you want to see it. Is this the decent mechanic femboy I've heard about? It is. It is. That is me. Hmm. See, I have I have this capacitor, which is twenty UF four hundred and fifty volts. So this would work, but I don't want to use this capacitor because it is again sixty years old, and uh, or forty to fifty years old. <laughs> Pretty sure five U fours are just vac, no gat. Yeah, yeah, they aren't. Five U fours are just just vacuum. So, but my question is, is the only difference between an 8.3 and a 5U4 is that one is older and has mercury in it? The capacitor looks like a shotgun shell. It kind of does. But, I mean, these old, like... I mean, this is an old-ass capacitor. This is really old. But, I mean, this would probably work, but I've measured it, and it has about 34 UF, actually. Um, like, if I hook up my multimeter to this... Is that a capacitor 12 gauge? <laughs> yeah, what did my 12 gauge shotgun that's behind me and fucking shoot it? C 
see, it, it, it's got... I don't know if you can read that, but it's got 30, 33 to 35 UF going up. Uh, oops. Going to this thing, right? And so I don't think... I don't know how well... I mean, this isn't like a definitive test, I guess. Like, it, like this isn't the best capacitor tester in the world, but like, I feel like probably not a great idea to use this capacitor. <laughs> If it works, it's a fluke. <laughs> see, I, I see what you did there. Aha ha. Aha ha. The problem with old caps is if they measure, okay, they don't mean they don't leak when given power. Yeah. What was your favorite subject in school? I don't remember. Shit. Pro probably none of them. I hated, I hated school, but I was homeschooled, so. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, I, I have the... And the good old fashioned, uh, good old fashioned 12 gauge pump. What, what, what is there? Why is there a, a red light flashing on this? Can I turn this off? Huh, okay. In theory, you can leak test old caps with old tiny capacitor checker that, like, what Heathkit used to make, but I never test them, I just replace them. Yeah, that's my thing. Really, I just, though, all I'm trying, all I'd be trying to do with it, though, is just test the power circuit. Because all I'm really trying to do here is I'm trying to just build this circuit right here that, like, um, this circuit, right? This is all I'm, well, not... Uh, probably, probably more like this circuit. This is all I'm trying to do, right? Is build this circuit so I can see if I'm getting 270 volts DC at these two points right here. Like, this is, this is all I'm trying to do. So for that purpose, would that capacitor work? Maybe. Maybe I should just try that. Your names start with the same letters. Basically, it's actually a sawed-off. It is a sawed-off, but I measured it, so it's legal. Um, love how it, it would chamber the first cartridge. You'd feed into it as the gaze as long as the bullet was back. Yeah, like, I feel like... I feel like this would probably work if I could test this, right? I'm glad you are a streamer early. Yeah, I'm streaming a little bit early, because I gotta leave in, like, 30 minutes, but... I don't know, I was thinking, I just thinking I might try and try and build this circuit with that old capacitor. Wherever it went, I don't actually know where the fuck I put it. Oh, there it is. Is that a bad idea, boobs? It could blow up. Like, the capacitor itself could blow up, or one of the other things could blow up. Mm -mm. I gotta I gotta go to my dad's house. Alright, well, I, I won't do it. I won't do it. I mean, are you meeting your dad dressed as Velma? No. I'm making a guitar amp. This, uh, this is my, like my thing here for uh if you're wondering what all the green and red and blue is the the green is what i've i've guaranteed that i have like i've double checked that is there right the green is what i've looked at on the circuit of this tube and have like confirmed that yes i have this hooked up right because it's annoying because there are like three different ways i could build it i could look at the, this the parts like picture that shows you where everything goes or i could look at the um the board or i could look at the schematic and i've decided i'm just going to use the schematic because all of them are different and not and they counter they counter they counter each other like they like um i think for instance the eight pin and the three pin are reversed on the one that shows you just where to put everything comparative to what it is on the schematic 
So I had to swap these back when I look at the schematic. So I, I've, I've got pretty much all of the tubes hooked in and done. Like if you look at, if I, if I bring this, this bad boy up for a second. I've got most of the, the tubes actually wired in correctly. So that's, that's pretty nice. I gotta get some duct tape for this fucking choke, though, because of the, the little, little, like, paper wrapper that holds it all together. I mean, it, well, it doesn't hold it all together. It just makes it neater. It's, like, broken because it's old as shit. The question is whether tubes will still work after they work briefly as flashlights. <laughs> I think it's fine. I mean, it, it it's just the heaters, right? I saw them glowing brighter than they should, and I just turned them off. If anything was damaged, it would have been the heaters, and I think they're okay. Because, no, I, I've plugged them in again, right? I've tested the circuit since then, and they do glow, and they, they're fine, I think. I think. <laughs> I could test them in my other amp. Get this amp. You and your Back to the Future, I swear. What a shitty little guitar. <laughs> Looks like a familiar Variac, it does. Anyway, yeah, so I've got this most of the way set up. The problem is, the, or the, the pieces that I have yet to do. The ones that I have yet to do are, um, are what do we call it? Are like the power circuit, right? And the output circuit. These are like uh, the whole tube tube circuit. I have pretty much. Done. I'm thinking this is done. I just have yet to go and double check that it is done because I need to do that. But I'm pretty sure this is done as well. Um, but like otherwise, wiring up the jacks. Those are things I have to do. Wiring up the output circuit. That is something I have to do. And then out wiring the whole power circuit. This is what else else I have to do. So, so like, that's why I'm kind of trying to figure this out, because I don't really want to make, I really want to add this vacuum tube to the, the power circuit. I really want to have this, t this in here instead of, um, instead of the solid state rectifier, which it comes with. This looks like pretty promising, to be honest with you. Electronics wholesale. What, what is this? What the fuck is a color wheel? Is that like for those old mechanical color TVs? Huh. 
These are for AV stuff. Oh, it's on 17th Street in Des Moines. Oh, interesting. I don't know where that is, but if it's in Des Moines, it's not that far away from me. But I don't know. Are these guys going to have capacitors? Solder station accessories. Let me, let me just look up. Um, uh, fucking capacitor. I don't, I don't know if they have that. I should get a new uh, solder station, though, honestly. They might wouldn't hurt to stop and then ask. It's true. By the way, Asher, we have to pick something up for you from the post office early in the week. Might be in the week. Might be a good time to send a certain package off. Not to be put too pushy. I'm gonna work on it when I get home. So I might. I'll probably send you the thing once I get home to see if you like it. All right, to see if it's up to code. So we'll see. So you get uh, electrical stuff in the UK? I have no idea. RS online, what is that? Oh, they have it in America. What the fuck is the United States? Oh, it's in Europe, I'm retarded. Um, passive components, product sensors, contactors, hand tools, non rechargeable batteries, semiconductors. Uh, where are the capacitors? Wait till you see what Boo's found for you. Oh god, what did she find? What did she find? Oh no. Power supplies and transformers? Ew. Can I sort it by what its output is? I'll have to look at this more out, more in depth later. I have to look at that more in depth. Can't wait till it gets here and we find out how worth it the thing is. What, what did you? What is it? <laughs> oh, it goes to something else we have for you. Oh, fuck. The vid for approval. Yeah. Because I've got, I got like, the main YouTube video, I think, done. I don't know if I'm going to use that one, though, honestly. I might not. So I have to think about whether or not I'm going to use that. And if I'm not, then I'm going to have to, like, re-record it. I don't want to do that, but I might have to. I don't know how to make that like a funny video though. Hmm. Does it the video have cake in it? It yeah, a little bit. A little bit of cake. A little bit. Just just, just teeny just teeny bit. Just teeny bit. The cake is a lie. <laughs> cake or the bakery? <laughs> I 
I don't know about I don't know about bakery or anything, but that gives me hope. <laughs> cupcake, yeah, probably more like a cupcake. <laughs> that sounds about right. That that does indeed sound about right. Blueberry muffins? Dude, I fucking love blueberry muffins. Blueberry muffins are so good. I hope you don't forget about us the little people when you become famous. I'll never forget. Never forget. You haven't been here long enough to remember. That room is a huge fire hazard, by the way. Stuff everywhere on the floor combined with unstable electronics and gunpowder. <laughs> I don't have gunpowder in here. I mean, I guess technically I do have bullets, but listen, it's not that big of a fire hazard. <laughs> I do have a lot of kindling on the floor, because that, that two box of tubes came with a lot of this stuff, so I have to throw it all away. Don't call my room a fire hazard, as there's just electronics on the floor. <laughs> it's just like... I look like a mad scientist with this fucking backdrop right now. Jeez. I only have combustible <laughs> propellants in an enclosed space. I mean, come on. Most dumps? Don't call my room a dump. I'm not going to clean my room on stream. It's not going to happen. I might clean my room, but it's not going to be on stream. A whole bag of the hottest chips? What do you mean, like, a hundred dollars? A hundred dollars doesn't seem like that much for that, you know what I mean? I had the... Listen, I did the one chip challenge thing, and it wasn't that bad. Until, like, 30 minutes later, where it made me question my existence with how much it hurt but the like the actual like mouth heat of the chip wasn't so incredibly painful that i couldn't deal with it right did you just do a jimmy impression i did <laughs> I, I mean come on guys <laughs> is it obvious i've been watching too much south park <laughs> With a whole bag of Reaper chilies? I mean, it depends on which one it is. I don't... I don't know. Like, maybe. Maybe. A hundred dollars seems like not a lot for that. But maybe. Maybe. Depends on how hot it is. Because I'm like... I, like, I fucker... I drink hot sauce, like, out of the bottle. Like... I need to get more of this. You see this? Do you see this travesty? I'm running out. Yesterday, I took that those gummies again, and I got so fucking... I got the munchies really bad, but I had already eaten today, or yesterday. And I, I couldn't eat anything, and it was so painful. It was so bad. The Dorito Chili Heat Ways... I'll, I'll eat those. I'll eat a whole bag of Dorito Chili Heat Waves for a hundred bucks. Easy. Like, are we talking about normal chips? That are like... If, if they're just hot, like, it depends on how hot they are. If they're like unbearably... If it's like eating a whole bag of habanero peppers, then no. If it's like eating a bag of just the spicy version of a generic brand, then that's easy. Where's the mustard? How are your insides not messed up? I, ha I have I have resilient insides. My mom was super sick the past, like, week. Like, super sick. I don't think she had COVID, but she was fucked up. And I got none of it. I was like, please get me sick so I don't have to go to work. Please. Please. I need to... I would love to not go to work for a week. 
nothing. My liver and my, like, immune system is, like, the beefiest immune system ever. You haven't seen her make hot sauce soup. I just saw a copy of the school newspaper in which a student used the word retarded to refer to our cafeteria lunch policy. The word retarded does not she belong is. in our school! Who is in charge of the school paper? Because I'm about to break their fucking legs! Uh, he's in charge of the school paper. You gonna break his legs, PC principal? <laughs> I, lo I love South Park. <laughs> well, hospitals are the best place in the world to get sick. Well, she's not currently a nurse. She used to be a nurse. She's, she doesn't work as a nurse currently. But yeah, I'm kind of upset by that. Because I was really hoping I could get sick and take a week off of work. But yeah. Nope. But definitely gotta get more Tapatio. Definitely. Maybe I'll pick some up. Well, it's... Hmm. I wonder if I should just stop by Dollar General on my way home or something. Is it a Dollar General? Does Dollar General have tap to you? In like big bottles like this? If you go to ship work, I'll give you a long bear bottoms. Oh. Are we back? Oh, are we back? Are, am, I, am I back? Hello? <laughs> the fuck just happened? What <laughs> the fuck just happened? Wait, what are you talking about getting me some? What? Some of what? Your packets are in the lost and the found of the internets. <laughs> they can knock me off the internet. Oh, I see. <laughs> Tapatio is so fucking good. Let me look this up. Does Dollar General sell tap too? Look a tap by Tio. Looks like they do. They also have Cheez Its. Ooh, I might buy some of those. I'll buy some, I might buy some Cheez Its. Can I search the store I want? It's not my store, though. How do I change my store? How do I change my store? These are not the right ones, goddammit. Oh, the fuck? Filters. No. It's, I don't want... It's not my... St How do I change my goddamn store? I gotta find it. See if they have it. Oh, there we go. Found it. Okay. Do they have it? Is the question. Out of stock? God damn it. Do I have to really go to fucking. Do I really have to stop by fucking Fairway? 
If you need to leave soon, I do. It'll probably be the end of the stream because Astra's got a bit to go. Even hotter. Dirty Dick's hot sauce. He, he only tries one after guys will try him and hot sauce definitely affects them. <laughs> Alright, well, it's about time where I've gotta go. I gotta go get ready to fucking. I gotta, like, get out of these clothes and into, you know, the actual clothes that I wear around my dad. Um. So, just go like this. <laughs> you look ready to me. Oh, yeah, hi, Dad. How, how, how are you doing? <laughs> you wear this for Dad. What could go wrong? I think it would just be really, really awkward. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I really don't want to deal with that, honestly. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Does your dad not know? He does know, but he's kind of like, kind of ignores it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Um... Goodbye! <laughs>